Hi there. In our devotion today, I want to take you to Philippians chapter 2. I want to read verse 5 onwards. It says, Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus. What is attitude? Attitude is the way of thinking and the way we behave. Christians are expected to be like of Jesus in our attitude. So we need to know what is that attitude Paul says here in verse 6, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant. Being made in human likeness and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and he became obedient to death, even death on a cross. The purpose of the Father to send Jesus into this world is to be the sacrifice for our sins. To do that, he had to leave his glory, the glory that he had with the Father. He was equal with the Father. He himself is God. But the first thing that Paul mentions here, the attitude of Jesus, is that he was willing to empty himself. He was willing to uh, take a human likeness, Bible says. To do that, he had to humble himself. He was not humbled by somebody else, even though people treated him bad at times. But it was him who is willing to take all that because he humbled himself. How far he has humbled himself, Bible says, and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. His humility and his obedience took him even to the cross, death on the cross. So the attitude of a Christian should be that of Christ Jesus. We have to be willing to empty ourselves because there's nothing that we can claim about who we are. We are just a vapor. We are just a dust. According to the word of God, we were made out of the dust. But we have to be willing to understand that we have to humble ourselves, willing to empty ourselves so that God can be fully taken over in our lives. And the result of the attitude of Jesus, of emptying himself and humbling himself and being obedient even to the death on the cross, the result was in verse 9, Paul says, Therefore God exalted him to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name, that at the name of Jesus every knee should bow, in heaven and on earth and under the earth. Paul says that because of his attitude, because of his willingness to empty himself, willingness to humble himself, willingness to obey even to the death on the cross, the result was God exalted him, raised him up, and gave him the name that is higher than any other name, Jesus Christ our Lord. There are so many names that people revere and respect, but none can come equal to the name of Jesus. And it says, verse 10, that at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow in heaven and on earth and under the earth. All authority in heaven and on earth has been given to me, Jesus said in Matthew's gospel, chapter 28. And here Paul is mentioning again, that not only God gave him the powerful name, the name above every other name, and then he says he is qualified to worship. Everyone, at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Verse 11 says, And every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord, to the glory of God the Father. It doesn't matter what language you speak or where you are coming from. It says that every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. He is the Lord of the universe. Universe is so big, but He created it. And one day He is coming soon to 
bring judgment upon this earth. And are you ready with your attitude straightened up, living a good Christian life, have the same attitude of Jesus, be willing to humble and be willing to obey and be willing to empty yourself and let God completely take over your life and be glorified in and through your, your life. God bless you today.